Hi guys, welcome to Mixer YouTube channel. My name is Ramesh and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to configure Docker overlay network on Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Docker overlay network and its use cases. The overlay network is used to enable container on different hosts to communicate with each other. Overlay network was designed to be used with the Docker Swarm services. In the last video, we got to know about the Docker Swarm and Docker Swarm is container orchestration tool like Kubernetes that allow us to manage multiple container on multiple hosts. So if you want to enable container to container network, you can go with the overlay network. So let me show you the figure. So give me one second. Where's the figure? Here it is. Okay. So in the figure, you can see that I have three node cluster environment. And if you want to make communication possible with all network to each other on uh, each other, which is hosted on the different different nodes, then we can need to configure overlay network in the Docker Swarm mode, right? So here's the host one, this container want to communicate with that one and this container want to communicate with that one. So we can configure the overlay network in the Docker cluster environment, right? So I have already discussed how to deploy Docker Swarm in Linux. Till now, if you didn't see that, uh, that video, I will request you to go to my Docker playlist and watch how to configure Docker Swarm on Linux. So guys, let's start the lab session and we'll see how it is useful for us. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm using a line virtual machine where I have already set up three node cluster environment, right? So let me move to the my virtual machine. So this is, let me first of all show you the OS release version of this machine, etc. Red Hat release. Currently I'm using 9.0 and uh, let me take the SSS of my available nodes from this machine. So currently I have two more virtual machines, rel9 and rel9 client. So let me take the SSS first, 192.168.111.128 IP address, give the password SSH 192.168.111.130. Okay, so 130, give the password, perfect. So now station one, uh, this is the rel9 client server one this is the rel9 server and this is the devops server the main server right so you can see that i have taken remote ssh session of my both linux not uh, let me check the current condition of docker images containers using the following command on the manager docker images first let me check the images okay container okay and PS service, service PS sorry service PS service sorry LS so now you can see that currently I don't have any container images services or container available on this box okay so let me check the status of manager node with the following command docker node LS command so you can see that DevOps server working as a manager node. This is my is my manager node where I'm working currently. I'm working and server one station one acting as a worker node, right? So move to the first tab, which is launch service without overlay network. First of all, I'm going to launch service without overlay network and we'll see the network structure. What's the network structure? We will get it if we don't create our custom overlay network, right? So I'm going to launch Nginx container with three replica mode using the following command. So I have write down the command here in my demo file so let me copy and paste docker service create replica 3 name that is my web the service name and the nginx okay so it's pulling the image from docker hub and preparing uh, and then let me check the docker ps here currently there's nothing similarly on station 1 is nothing right so it will create three replica on all three available nodes that is devops server server one and station one right so just wait let it be complete first okay preparing Just wait for a couple of minutes, let it be complete. Okay, starting, waiting 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom, service done. Okay, so now uh, let's check and confirm to, so we can run the command docky service ls command and verify the status. Yep, replica 3 by 3. 
all okay even we can check the container status using the docker service ps command and the service name you can say my web so here you can see that uh, i have a three container on three different nodes devops server server one and station one so i can go with docker ps so currently i have here one earlier there's nothing now one more here and one more here right belong to my web similarly with the my web similar, similarly with the my web right so uh, what i'm going to do uh, i'll uh, move to the next step which is go to inside this container and check the ip range so i'll move to the station one and server one and check the ip address range right so let's start one by one from here so i'll say docker uh, exec hyphen it and bin bash perfect and now let's check the os release version here etc os release it's a debian linux let it be update the packages command is apt apt get update and then we need to install the ifconfig command also because by default ifconfig is not available so apt get run the command install ifconfig if c o n f i g so hyphen y let it be stall okay so just wait for a couple of minutes let it be complete so now if i go with the if config command i got the range 172 17 0.2 so let me follow the same same process on server one as well as station one so if i go with docker exec hyphen it and go with the bin bash shell it means what it is interactive terminal mode right so i'm i'm going with the terminal mode here login so uh, apt get update apt get update let me update the package and similarly let me install install if config hyphen y let me check the IP address here also. So if config C 172.17.0.2 172.17.0.2 right. See this range assigned to the container right. So here we get the same scenario, same address range. Even if I go with the same on the Docker exec the third station node. Let it be check confirm here also. Bin bash. Uh, sorry, I didn't use axc hyphen it and apt get update first. Then we need to install if config. So apt get install if config and we'll check the IP address range here also. Right, let it be complete. So if config see. So now look at the sick picture on server devops server 1 we have 17.0.2 server 1 17.0.2 and station 1 17.0.2 right so here we get the same scenario the same IP address assigning on ETS 0 so this is the default network assigning with these containers let me show you on the manager node so can I am back on the manager node if I go with the docker network ls command here you will find out so networks right docker bridge and bridge network so we can confirm the range from inspect and the name of that one so currently we are getting the range 172 17 dot right so this is 18 even we can go with the bridge also we have the bridge so see that is a range 172 17 dot 0 .2. that's by default bridging is working on these types of environment right even if, even if I try to launch a new container using docker run command, I cannot communicate with all uh, other node container. Well, let's do it. So if I move to the server one, I'll, I'll exit from there. And if I run the docker docker -E docker ps, currently I have only one container, right? So let me try to launch one machine with docker run command. So if I go with docker run and say DITI, DIT, D attach mode, name is demo machine and sent to us so it's pulling the latest uh, image from the docker hub and let me check what's the ip we got in this container so 
extracting let it be complete okay let it be complete first mm, done okay so go back docker ps same docker docker exec hyphen it demo machine and bin bash and if i run ip address here's the range is 172.17.0.3 right even if i run the same command on my on my another worker node let's check i launch one more here with the same scenario demo machine sent to us let's check the range of this one even i got in 172.17.0.3 right so let's see so service range is 17.0.2 all the container belong to that service is 17.0.2 and let's see docker run output should be 17.0.3 the same series right so that is a default environment if you don't go with the custom overlay network right so now if i go with docker ps docker uh, exec hyphen it demo machine bin bash and run the command ip address see i told you 172.17.0.3 same concept happened here 172.17.0.3 right guys let it be exit from there let it be exit from there so this that is the point uh, the point come in our mind is how to assign the unique range to these container and make them communication possible to each other for that reason we need overlay network right i hope the picture is clear what will the effect happen if we in the network if we are not uh, create our own overlay network what will the effect happen when we launch a container inside a different different host what the range will come automatically right but the point is that how they can communicate to each other without having the unique range right so let me remove every container and service and we'll make overlay network first and then we will launch it one more time right so let me start from station first docker ps let me remove docker let me stop it first docker stop and that is demo machine let it be stop it first let me remove it also from here rm okay similarly uh docker d o c k e r stop the demo machine and let it be removed also perfect and docker here from on manager node docker service rm the service name is my web okay so now time to check docker ps hyphen a nothing all clear docker ps hyphen a also from here it's all clear and docker ps hyphen a all clear not a, a stop condition not in running condition everything everything is clear right and even if i go with docker network service ls command docker service ls all clear right so let's start uh, uh, we, uh, we we i'm going to create an overlay network i move to the next step and i'm in the manager node i'll make an overlay network how we will uh, launch the overlay network here's the command so let me copy it from my demo file i run the command docker network create deal driver is overlay attachable subnet i'll my i'll give my own subnet 10.0.9.0 slash 24 it could be anything choice up to you and network name is my network so now if i go with docker network ls command you will find out new network see the network is my network right even i can inspect it also docker network inspect say my network let it be check so here you will see the series is 9.0 okay now we can see custom overlay network is ready and let's launch the service and container on the basis of this overlay network and we'll see how we get the unique ips right so let it be launched one more time but this time i'll go with the my custom overlay network the same command but this time i use my custom network using hyphen hyphen network and network name that's it Similarly, let me launch the container on server one, station one using docker run command, right? So let me go with uh, this one. Let it be launched here. Docker and DIT name first this time. And again, I'll launch one more 
docker run with name second right so now time to check docker ps so if i go with docker ps hyphen a or you can go only with ps command currently i have one container here similarly i can go with ps two container one is docker run one with the service and similarly docker ps one is CentOS, one is nginx right so finally setup is ready with three replica services and two different containers. now move to the final check which is check networking between these containers so one by one i'll move to every node and move inside the container and check the ip address and then try to ping to each other the same scenario whatever i have done few minutes ago right and uh, and see whether what is the ip address right so how i can do that docker the same scenario remember exec command whatever i have just few minutes ago i have repeated let me exec hyphen it say bin bash and i'll move apt get update first let it be update and uh, i need to install if config also apt get get install if config config fig sorry okay let it be install and now time to check the ip address right so if i go with if config see 10.0.9.4 my custom network similarly i can go with docker exec hyphen it the first bin bash and if i run the command ipas see 9.9 9.9 and similarly docker exec hyphen it hyphen it second bin bash ipas here's the range is 9.10 so now you can see that we have a unique ip 9.4 9.9 and 9.10 even we can check it ping 10.0.9.4 0.9.4 yep response is there 9.9 .9 response is there perfect so guys this is how you can see that it's working with the overlay network right so even uh, we got the response we can inspect overlay network from the manager node and we'll see the container ids with the associate ip address if i go back again here and exit from here remember docker network inspect my network see the range is there with the container ids so here it is 9.4 similarly 9.9.4 is there 9.7 is there and number series is, are there with a container ids right so uh, finally we are in the conclusion conclusion says that we can use the docker overlay network to enable container to container network to view the available docker network commands execute the following command docker uh, docker network hyphen hyphen help to get more information right so uh, guys finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye